Hi everyone. So in the last reading I did, if this is your energy group, I do channel multiple energy groups, so only take it if it resonates. But the last reading I did, I was getting kind of like a shy secret admirer type. This could be like a neighbor or a coworker or a friend. It, it was a new love. It was someone where there was um, like this mutual crush, like the feelings were there, but it maybe never got off the ground. I feel like this person went back to an ex. It's like maybe you guys were just flirting and it was kind of like an unspoken love. Like you guys never really expressed feelings, but you could tell something was there and something was progressing. And then out of nowhere, they went back to an ex or it's like you guys were just dating for, you know, two or three weeks or so. And it was like it was starting to move. And then they they went back to an ex. I feel like this person isn't a bad person, but I feel like they're very um kind of shy, sweet, loyal, but very impressionable. So it, it's like they need a stronger backbone. I feel like this ex of theirs just to recap really quickly, it's like this ex of theirs just kind of pulled them back in. It ended up just being a karmic cycle with that ex. It ended up being the same drama as before, uh, same heartbreak. They ended up either, you know, fighting, having a falling out, arguing, just, just same thing as before. And they really regret going back to that ex. They regret choosing the familiar over this new love that they had with you. You know, again, I don't think this is someone where it really got off the ground with them. I think it was a very short relationship. If 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 even a relationship at all, like I said, at first, some of you, it might have just been like there were mutual feelings, but they were kind of just unspoken just through body language. And so I just posted that reading. If this is, if that's for you, then check that reading out. I went into more detail on it, but I'm going to continue it here. Because there was something about like a mental instability or it could be like like being neuro neurodivergent. There is something about them that you don't know about that they wanted to hide from you because I feel like this ex, that's how they got in their head. They're like, you know, you have this this history with me. It's familiar with me. Like, the, you know, this other person doesn't know about, you know, this fear or this insecurity or this mental illness or whatever it might be that you have. But I know about it and I'm willing to deal with it. So it's like they kind of played on their on their fears and weaseled their way back in. But yeah, this person regrets it and they're they're leaving that ex behind. Tell me about what they want to hide from you though. It's like whatever it was, it's like they were kind of convinced that you wouldn't this ex kind of had them convinced that that you wouldn't uh, accept them if they found out. If you found out. If you found out about this this secret that they have. Tell me about this secret. Honestly, for some, I think they might be bipolar and I can't diagnose anybody, but I think they might be diagnosed by bipolar because I almost seem like it almost feels like a quick transition from being a king of wands to a king of swords. King of wands is like very passionate, very charismatic. I could see that as like a high point of bipolar disorder. And then king of swords is more like logical, more guarded. So I think for some of you, it is like having some kind of imbalances in their personality there's some kind of conflict energy here that kind of keeps them blocked. Show me more about this. Show me more about this like mental illness energy that they don't want you to know about. I do want to say though, I am feeling like for everybody, it's going to be different. So don't be like, don't get in your head and be like, oh yeah, they're definitely bipolar. Like if you, if you're not seeing signs of that, like don't make that assumption. Because for others, I just feel like it might be like a health issue or it's some kind of physical issue that you maybe don't know about it could even be like something sexual that you that you maybe you got maybe you guys didn't get to that point where you know where you um where you would know about it but it's something that they're really embarrassed about is what i'm feeling Yeah, it's like they were kind of wanting to take things slow with you just to kind of feel it out and see if you were the kind of person that would like reject them because of that. But they were wanting something long term with you like the the mutual feelings were there. Yeah, and then it's like they ended up with this this third party instead. It's like they kind of this third party weaseled their way back in by playing on their insecurities. 
playing on their fears kind of like a third party type that like gaslights you you know like the third party that's like oh no one's I'm the only one that knows you I'm the only one that's ever gonna love you you know like kind of like a seductress type Oh, I do want to say, I think this is for Sagittarius as well. If you're in that energy group, if you've been following my, my Sagittarius readings that I was doing recently, this could be for you as well. Um, it doesn't have to be for Sagittarius though, but this is something that I recall us getting with the Sagittarius reading, something about like a, a sweet, shy, boy or girl next door type. Because I feel like a good energy from this person, even though they went back to an ex, I feel like they're just very... Um, kind of innocent, kind of naive, kind of impressionable, just they really need a stronger backbone. But let's get into it more. So what is the secret? I want to know what this secret is. That What is it that they don't want you to see about them? What does this person not want you to know about them? Okay, there's things from childhood that caused this, that caused this heartbreak. I feel like it could be mental instability in general, too. It might just be like they have a darker side to them that they didn't want you to see. Like maybe you're very, um, it's like the relationship with you is maybe kind of very flirty and fun, but you guys maybe haven't had some of like the deeper conversations yet. And so I feel like with the Six of Cups and Three of Swords, Six of Cups can talk about like, you know, the past childhood. So this could be, especially with the Three of Swords right here, I feel like this could be like childhood traumas. This could be things that they had to, they had to be strong. They had to, things that they had to recover from, things that it, it's like, it takes them a lot of strength to kind of hide this part of themselves. So for some, it could just be like depression, anxiety, childhood trauma it's kind of like this person just has um they're kind of too hard on themselves it almost seems like somebody who is very light-hearted and innocent and it's like they they feel like a burden if they bring up issues like they they're kind of almost almost like somebody who's like too positive in a way you know what I mean it's like this is you probably would have accepted this this is like a normal part of life but it, it's like something that they were just afraid of of you seeing that side of them and I'm not getting a, a side of them as in like a like a abusive side or anything like that I don't get that energy from this person I mean you know use your own intuition if you're feeling that off them but I, I don't feel it from this spread or from from the past reading that I just did for some I feel like they know that you want kids and they don't have a strong family support system, so they worry that that would be a deal breaker for you. Like maybe if you guys are like coworkers or friends, like maybe you've just casually talked about that for some reason. And they like kind of know that like they don't have that strong support system that you would, you know, ideally want in a partner. Um, but yeah, something with their childhood. For some, I really do feel like it's bipolar or it's like something... Yeah, it's something of that sort. But again, it's going to be different for everybody. Like I said, for some, it's health issues. For others, it's like bipolar or depression or anxiety. Or it's just like childhood traumas and things that they've been through where they're not, you guys haven't gotten that deep yet. So I feel like they don't know how you would feel about that. They don't know if you, it's like something probably like maybe something kind of weird too is what I'm getting. Like it's something like. What is this energy? Like something that they just went through that like most people like don't understand. I feel like most people, maybe they've been rejected for it in the past. Yeah, it's like they hold this secret close to them. But they do want like a ton of cups, but they're kind of almost like, like they did see something with you. They did feel the potential. They really liked your energy. It's like you guys are both very kind of lighthearted, kind of almost like an innocent energy to both of you. Very pure connection, very kind of sweet, kind of childish energy, but like in a good way, you know, like kind of like a fun kind of energy from both of you. 
Yeah, it's like they want that long-term connection. They're just afraid with like the Eight of Pentacles. It's like they're holding on to some kind of secret. They're afraid that that would sabotage them. The High Priestess, the Chariot. I feel like they want to heal it, though. They want to move forward. They don't want it to block them. The Lovers... Knight of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. Why the Five of Pentacles? Yeah, they're afraid of being judged. They're afraid that you would have walked away from them. Nine of Cups. Because they do see you as that wish fulfillment. I really feel like more than anything, though, I feel like it's more this ex just because this person is so impressionable and naive and innocent. I feel like this ex knows how to manipulate them. So this ex might have took taken this secret and kind of turned it into a big thing when it really isn't that big of a thing. Like, I feel like this person might not have a lot of life experience. So, like, let's say they are on, like, medication for, like, depression or anxiety or, like, bipolar or they do have, like, a physical health issue or they do have, like, like even, like, you know, some, something like that. I feel like it might not even be that big of a deal, but because this person maybe is kind of, like, a loner or maybe they just haven't had a lot of, like, experience with people, especially when it comes to dating... I feel like this ex was able to kind of manipulate them and get in their head and be like, oh, this this is a huge issue, like something that they can like, like they manipulated it so that they could hold this against the person like, oh, no one, no one would deal with that health issue or no one would deal with no one would want somebody that's on medication for a depression or no one like that's not common like they, they don't this person's naive they don't know that that those things are common those, you know, depression, anxiety, like everyone like a lot of people deal with that it's a normal thing. But this person is so inexperienced that, that this ex can manipulate them into just thinking like, oh, that's, you know, most people don't have that. Most people don't don't think that way or don't talk that way or don't have that issue. So so it's almost like this ex has like manipulated them into thinking there's some kind of like, you know, freak, some kind of, you know, outcast of society here or whatever that like nobody's going to love them but them. But I honestly feel like you would be accepting of this like they're kind of being too hard on themselves whatever it is i don't i don't think it would be a deal breaker for you i think that you'd be accepting of it yeah they're afraid that if they came forward with the information it's like you would like stand your ground like it would just be like you wouldn't want it page of pentacles the devil Knight of Wands. Hmm. The Devil and the Knight of Wands. They know it's like the final battle. They kind of, I think they're kind of having some clarity about this X too. They're like, you know, they are really embarrassed about whatever this issue is, but they're like, you know what, I don't want to I don't want this to hold me back forever. Like, I don't want, like, I want to deal with this devil energy. You know what I mean? Like, I want, like, a future. I want something long term. I want to figure this out. I don't want to let this hold me back forever. Okay, let's wrap it up. Can you guys, can you give me any clarification on what this is? I think I'm, I think it's also just like I said, that it's different for everybody. Like for some it's mental, for some it's physical. But either way for this energy group, I'm feeling like it's not going to be a deal breaker for you. Page of Swords, Five of Wands. What is this issue that they don't want you to know about? Yeah, they're breaking free from that Eight of Swords victim energy from the manipulation. They're going through a transformation. They're breaking free of that. They needed, I feel like with this ex, it's like they needed to go through that one last time to really have that closure and to kind of wrap up that karmic cycle with the ex. I feel like... I mean, I feel like this person is still very naive and innocent, but I feel like they're starting to kind of... Um, put themselves out there more. They're kind of starting to have a little bit of a new perspective where they're like, you know what? I don't, 
I, 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 they're, they're kind of considering, they're like, you know what, maybe this, this issue I have isn't that big of a deal. Maybe it's, it's still embarrassing, but maybe it's not as big of a deal as I thought it is. Like they're kind of, they're, they're being smarter about whatever this was. They're not, they're not as naive as they were. Yeah. Putting down the burden. Okay. I'm going to wrap this up. Is there anything else you want to say about this reading or about this energy? The Hierophant, the Sun, why the Four of Cups, the Moon. Yeah, again, it's like they want this commitment. They want something with you. They're so afraid of being rejected once the secret comes out, though. Yeah, they're afraid of a tower moment with you. They, they're afraid that you're going to find out what this is and you're just going to be like, oh, I would never want someone with that, that issue, that mental or physical health issue. So it's like, and they kind of had you on a pedestal too. That's the problem. They're seeing you as like perfect and just, you know, you're so beautiful and you're so loving, you're handsome, you're, you're all these perfect things. And they're like, well, why would they want to deal with this, this issue? This, this ex has done a number on them. This ex has really manipulated them into thinking it's such a huge deal when it's, it's probably not that big of a deal. Um, let's wrap it up though. What is, what did you want to say about it? What do you want to say about this? Yeah, I feel like they're going to be a little bit stronger now. They're going to be in their power more because because of this karmic cycle wrapping up. For some, it could be a sexual energy because I'm getting lots of sexual cards like Ace of Wands, Knight of Wands. Maybe if you guys like never had sex, that might be why, like maybe they were afraid to tell you that. And like, maybe you were kind of confused, like, why doesn't this person like want to have sex with me? And they were like kind of keeping it light and you didn't know why. And that could have been it. Okay. Let's get some final messages here. Yeah. They're going to, I feel like they're going to want to come forward though. They want to build something with you. They want to build, they want some, some kind of, um, they want to find the balance. They're going to try to feel it out and see where they stand with you, because but they are wanting to ease into it and find a way to open up about this. So anyway, I hope this helped you guys. I want to put it out there.